has everything your business needs. Superior copy and printing services, business equipment and furniture, and a wide array of renting materials for all occasions. TDC Business Center, providing solutions that work. I'll take a small. Double XL, that's the size for me. Lil's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk, text, and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. Good morning to the beautiful people of St. Kitts and Nevis. It is time for Voices, and we want to say thanks to our sponsors for the first half, and they are Flo, TDC, and Rams. We're going to go straight to the phone lines and take our first call. Caller, welcome to Voices. Hello. Hi, morning. Uh, just here, you know, good, good morning, uh, HP. Radio <laughs> host. Portrait. That's another new name for today. Yes. <laughs> No, today is what? Um, positive, positive Wednesday. Wednesday. No, first thing, let me start with this. Purple, I want, I would like to see a day, at least a day come, when everybody in the world could be honest with one another, and loving and caring and sharing of great concern. Because in the Bible, the Bible tells you, ungratefulness is worse than witchcraft. And when somebody are in need, and they come to you and they ask for your help, you don't have to help them. But because the kind heart, loving heart you have, why are you going to help that person? And then to see that person on stairs, so they will look at you and grudge you and turn on and thief what you got when they're not supposed to do that and hate you and do all manner of evil towards you. They will even pass by your fence. And creep on the knees because they don't want you to see them passing. Because they know the malice they have in the heart and the badness what they do to you is not right in the sight of God. And it is better for somebody to spit on me, spit in me culture face, than to turn ungrateful to me because ungratefulness is worse than witchcraft. And we are seeing a lot of that around the place here. And stealing, stealing things from public places. I talked about this some months, some years ago. Now look at this cemetery, Springfield Cemetery, right there by Mr. Bradshaw's grave. A long fence of the picket, gone. Years ago it gone. And if you take a drive over Frigate Bay, you will see that same picket and somebody over your fence. We cannot afford to go around and steal our historical sites and places and destroy them. We're supposed to resolve and preserve as much as possible. If we love our country, we will build on it. We will not destroy it. Country above self is my motto. I'll come back, love. <laughs> All right. Thank you so yeah. much okay. for opening things for today. Haven't heard from the opening batsman as yet. He's um, a bit behind today. But as he said, maybe he has dropped down a bit in the batting lineup. Okay. Well, of course. So let me get off on the right footing. This is Positive Wednesday on uh, Voices. However, of course, there obviously are some uh, pressing issues, some new updates uh, that I'm sure many of us would want to talk about. And you're welcome to call and uh, talk about those issues. But today, let us just not be disrespectful. This is Positive Wednesday and we're going to talk about the positive things. And I know that might present a challenge to some of us, but let us give commendation for the good things that are happening in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. And we go back to the phone lines. Welcome, caller. You are live on Voices. Good day, 
to the host. Good day. How are you? I'm doing okay, thank you. Positive Wednesday. <laughs> I just have to laugh. I remember last week, uh, in the week, we was bashed about the situation. Now today, we are seeing the family left with no answers. Yes, I understand it's positive Wednesday. But how can you be positive when there's so much of things going on around us? So you're telling me that even though things are not 100%, there's nothing you can find to be positive. Well, you just can't, yes, you just yes, can't help can it. Find, you can't yeah. help it, but still revert to all the things, the same things you've been doing for the other four days of the week. You just can't. No, what I'm saying, hear me, my friend. There's a lot of positive things. I think it's a lovely place. The years have been saying, think it's sexy. But get what? Guess what? Hmm. I wouldn't even say. But what I'm saying, my friend, yes, positive, we have life. Yes, we have lovely kids around us. But at the end of the day, it's difficult to sit here and just overshadow some of the seriousness of what is going on in the Federation. I understand what you're saying. Yes, positive. We agree. But your heart, if you have a heart, I mean, there's so much of serious, serious issues that is happening. Speaking to a lady this morning, concerning some of the same issues we're talking about, another lady come to me, concerning the same thing. So how can I, as a person, just ignore the serious issues. I understand, yes, it's positive, but what I'm saying to you, how can we go? It's just like saying then, the family, the youngster, how can they go forward? How can me, I don't know him, I know his father, but how can I just go forward, come to the end of me, ignore the whole thing and say, well, oh, positive Wednesday. Let's go forward. At no point did I... When when did you join today's program? Because I don't know if you would no, have no, heard me mention... You, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying you, my friend. I'm just talking from my own okay. feelings. It's not to do with what you say or you start your program. I'm not getting at you. I'm just saying. Me or me personal talking in general concerning, you know, I'm just saying that, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, really, yes, I think it's a lovely place. It's my home. I'm going nowhere. But I'm saying, though, a lot of us need to come together. And my friend, um, what your name is again? Jude, purple, either one you purple. could call me. Yeah. Is anywhere, can we meet up anytime today? You and I? Wow, you, yes, you're yes, asking me on a date friend. on live radio. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> if um, just, I have time after work, you, know? you, can meet oh. me at, you can meet me at my second job at 2 o'clock upstairs the Pelican Mall. How about that? No problem. Because there's something we need, I need to show you. And sit down and talk to you about Not a problem. It is very serious. No problem. Have a good day. All right. You too have a wonderful and have a positive Wednesday. And as we continue here. Now, as I was um saying uh, before that last caller, of course, um, you know, it's positive Wednesday. What does that mean? That means that predominantly I want us to focus on something good. And as I was saying before that last caller, and I'm not uh, focusing on him per se, I'm not I'm um, going down his throat. But you see sometimes how difficult it is for us, for us uh, to find positive things. Now, I get where he's coming from. You know, it might be difficult sometimes to point out the positive things because there's so much, so many things happening and we may be hurting. But um, we do that every single day here on Voices in particular. We talk about the things that are frustrating us. But that is my message to us that at some point in time, there has to be something that we, we we focus on to say hey everything is going bad but it is spite of this is going good you know so that is really what it's not for me to hush you or for me to not give you a platform to talk about the issues that are affecting you or frustrating you but i just want us to um always find the upside to things that are not going well i don't know if i'm making much sense but we're gonna go back to the phone lines Okay, I want to apologize to that caller. The phone lines are now free and uh, disengaged. So you're welcome to call back right here on uh, Win FM 98.9. It is uh, 662-762 or 466-0989. Remember, you could also WhatsApp us at 662-2024 or watch us on our Facebook Live. 
Welcome, caller. You are live on Voices. Good morning, Purple. Good morning. Purple, how are you this morning? Taking it easy as usual. No, I see some people want to choke with this holy man with the politics. No, man, we good, we good. <laughs> and you, and you, want, you, you, you want to be a positive there? No, Purple, I want to pick up all those positive men who are clean to the women. And all those positive women who are clean to the men and show each other man respect and behavior. Purple, there is some men in this country, they have no respect for women. And they were very disrespectful to the girlfriend or whatsoever. And I just want to see in this country that man have more respect for women. Especially some men I know, you know, they will come on and the radio and make themselves feel like an angel, talk like an angel, and they don't respect women at all, at all, at all, at all. If you listen to some of these girls, man, and in the public, your main people, and you hear they speak to women, you will you, you want to know if the animal or something they're speaking to. So I just call in an all man in this federation to respect the woman and woman to respect the man and everybody show one another love because this is what we need. That's why our children come in so disobedient and all kind of things. Because when they see how we grow up and we live as man and woman, they, 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 they look at that and they, 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 they grow with it. Hope you have a wonderful day. God bless. All right. Thank you so don't, much. Don't, don't nobody come and choke with the politics. <laughs> no, we good. We good. You see, I don't have a problem with any uh, views as long as we could do it in a very cordial fashion and a respectful way. And as long as we don't keep beating the same horse over and over uh, as it relates to making the same point over and over and over. I um, I really believe that we petitions because, listen, there'll always be politics. It ain't going nowhere. I think we commit it and we go and leave it. There'll always be politics. There'll always be varied views. But I think what happens, as I've said before, it's the problem occurs when you become too loyal to a particular side. Because as I've often said, sometimes who you support, they change. And they change for the worse. And if you are so loyal that you become blind to the fact that this change has occurred, then what are you really loyal to? Then, you you know, you're loyal to your own um, detriment. We go back to the phone lines and say, welcome caller to Voices. Well, the second batsman, the third batsman, he want to go down here and put on a pad, so he come back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he dropped further down the line. Okay, then. No pops. Hello? Yeah, yeah, you're there, man. Yeah. If it is one statue, one human statue in the world that I have great admiration for, is the Statue of Liberty up in, in New York. You know the reason why? Why? Because she her hands doesn't tired. get tired? Eh? Because her hand never gets tired? <laughs> <laughs> that is one. <laughs> and it can't get tired. And is the reason why she is blindfolded. Because she not she she not supposed to see who she administering justice to. Is the she Statue of Liberty blindfolded? Of, you, you educate me here. Weight. Educate me here, culture. Is it really blindfolded? Is that true? Yeah, she can't peep to the cloth. Are you being yeah, she, the, realistic? The I, I have to go and look that up. <laughs> yeah, she's she supposed to feel the weight is not balanced on the left side. And then she's supposed to adjust them. So there is where good judgment and, and um, what you call it there, justice order, rather, is given by, by feeling the difference. A pound is 16 ounces on one side, and then you throw in on the other side, and you get the same weight as the 16 ounces. So when she feels imbalanced, she knows when well justice has been solved. Not because you're from New Jersey. You can't say, well, and you see something going on right in, over in New York, in Bronx. You don't call it wrong. You're supposed to say, well, I commend the people or the, the company who, um, who did that in, your, in, um, in the Bronx. But no, for, for, for criticism's sake, and just because you don't like people in the Bronx, you're going to talk about the people in the Bronx, how they're bad and you see them doing good. You give, you give kudos to who are doing good, uplift them, and who are doing wrong, 
You talk to them, and if they continue, then you whip them. That's what the Bible requires of us. Anyway, sweet purple, you have a good day. Hear me keep the spirit up. Country about self. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, That's okay, like my it. seventh name now you've given me this week. Caller, welcome to Voices. Greetings in the name of our great African ancestors, especially the most honorable Marcus, Messiah, Gabby, and Queen Enzinga. Blessed day, African Queen. How are you and your family? Blessed day to you. I'm wonderful. I'm not sure how my family is. All right. Well, you got to send some of the wonderfulness <laughs> across the Atlantic. All right. How are you today? <laughs> no, my sister. Let me say, culture. And, uh, and to you too, sister. The original Statue of Liberty was an African woman, and they take off the head and they have it in the basement of the, of the American Museum of Natural History. I think it's between 33rd, no, 73rd and 75th Street in Manhattan. So you could check that out for yourself, my beloved, and you two culture, and the scale of justice came out of Kemet, what they call Egypt in Africa. Now, my sister, let me get the uh, positive uh, Wednesday. I like to pick up a, a Rastafarian group over in Nevis. And Sister Pope, you must try to get them on on your show one of these times. One love, Rastafari movement. Sister, they're doing some Brilliant work. They were on and brother Mark Bradley's show last Wednesday night. Is this the official name of the group that you just yes, provided? Yes. One Love Rastafari Movement. Okay. And they have a sister there too, up front. She's a secretary and she just don't stay in the background, my beloved sister. Very brilliant sister. I think her name is uh, Sister... No, Empress Shelley. Yes, uh, I think one of the brother's name is Iwai. I remember the other brother's name, but sister, they're doing some great work with young people in the schools, teaching them farming, African stories, teaching African stories, but the great African stories, some great work, sister. First, they said they've been in existence for seven years, but I just heard about them last week, Wednesday. I even watched it on and uh, next radio station, I don't like to mention another radio station name, man. <laughs> a radio station. What station up in Nevis? You know this radio station. Mm -hmm. You watch it on the Facebook thing. Yeah, brilliant brothers man, and a brilliant sister. That's, so That's cool. the, one of the only Rastafari <laughs> group in that I know in the Federation that have a sister up front. Up front. My beloved sister, that's the problem I have with a lot of Rastafarian groups in the Federation. All where you see is just brothers, brothers, brothers. I do tell them, man, we're the sisters all next time. And they come again, we're the sisters next time. I say, man, you all got to stop this nonsense. You know? You got yeah. to stop this chauvinistic, sexist kind of way because they say, hey, no nation can be a nation and a developing nation without women. At our side, not uh, not in front of us, not behind of us, hand in hand, side by side, step with step, my beloved sister. And who I have a problem with that? Well, that's their problem because that's the African way. That's the African way. We used to worship women in ancient Africa. And anyone who uh, who don't believe me, they could go and check it out. So, sister, I'd like to pick up the One Love Rastafari movement over in Nevis. And try to get him on, my beloved sister. All right, thank you. Want to speak, come on the other side of Lodge. All right, uh, thank you so much uh, for your input in today's program. Beloved. We're going to go back to the phone lines and say welcome caller to Voices. Yes, good morning, Purple. Good this morning. That true, what culture is talking about, uh, about is in front of the Supreme Court. That is the statue representing the law. Uh oh, okay, darling, you dropped out. I want to apologize for that. Uh, we're going to take this opportunity now and go and say thanks to the sponsors for the first half of Voices. And they are Rams Flow TDC. And we'll come back on the other side. WINN is 98.9.
98.9 is Win FM. Here comes the sun. Sun quick. Here comes the sun. Sun quick. Sunny flavors for everyone. Natural, tasty, full of vitamin C. The drink for the whole family. It's sun quick. Sun quick drink concentrate gives you 40 glasses. Nine delicious flavors to choose from. Orange tropical mango. Peach orange. Orange apricot. Black currant. Apple. Red orange. Red fruit. Bursting with vitamin C. Sun quick. Natural. Tasty full of vitamin C. The drink for the whole family. It's sun quick. Like us on Facebook. www.facebook.com slash Ram Supermarket. Follow us on Twitter. www.twitter.com slash Ram Supermarket. And subscribe to us on YouTube. www.youtube.com slash Ram Supermarket. I'll take a small. Double XL! That's the size for me! Lil's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk, text, and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. You need new tires, but don't know what to get. TDC can help. Hi, I'm Goodyear. I ensure great handling and great braking in wet and dry conditions. My name is Sunfone. My continuous block patterns enhances stability at high-speed cornering. Did someone say speed? Hi, I'm Torque. Pick me for great performance and stability. Boys, 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 I know exactly what they want. I'm Presser. I'm the perfect fit for your SUV. Pick me and get the ultra-high performance with outstanding grip and traction, regardless of the road conditions. So, so which, which one, one of us are you going to choose? For the most reliable, durable, high-performance tires, come to TDC Automotive Divisions. We'll help you choose from the best brands at the best prices. Welcome back to Voices on Positive Wednesday. And we had a WhatsApp submission. I want to big up Miss Connor from St. Paul's who has carried her son on her back from his birth right up until CFB College and did not murmur. That is positive. All right. So we go back to the phone lines and say welcome caller to Voices. Hello. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on with that line. Okay, we're going to go to the next line. Welcome, caller. You're live on. Okay, we have lost those calls. So the lines are free. And remember, you can join us on Facebook at WinFM989 uh, to watch voices live and direct. We go back to the phone lines. Welcome. Okay, that phone line is bugging. Morning. Welcome to voices. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to the rest of the generation. So I'm calling from one shot. Yes, yes. And um, you call it positive Wednesday, right? Yeah. But after hearing that date on the radio, my positive Wednesday become negative. After hearing what, pardon? That, that date. Just pull in your fist. Okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, the date. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. So, <laughs> I so could understand. Um, okay. I'll, I'll let them make it more positive. <laughs> <laughs> well, to big up um, the excellency, some condo. I want to big up. I want to big up Dr. Denzel Douglas. To be 20 that he served the good that you do to the Federation in any party. Party on the Good, good. All right. Yes. Okay. Thank you for your, your, your contribution to today's program. And we're going to okay. go back to the phone lines and say, welcome, caller. You are live on Voices. Yes, Papa. Hi, I hi. I want to pick up some past. He was vegan. People like the, the right honorable Sir Robert Butcher. I think he has done a lot for this country with our land. Wanna big up teachers like Washington Archibald. He is past but not forgotten. A historian of, 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 of his own and educator a lot of lawyers and teachers in this country. 
in doctors and whoever feel they do. And so probing in it. I think that he contributed a lot to our heritage. And he was our governor at one time. Want to big up all of those people and all those who gone in the past as what done what contribute to us in education and whatever. Just want to pick them up and wish them all the best. Because those are the first and those teach teach our to be where we be. So we just want this consideration purple to continue to be good and the legacy those people left the gone before. And people like King Elimat, who is around still. I just want to big up King, King, King Elimat in his music where he take around the world, put things on the map. I want to big up Tim Collins, our national heroes, who went out there and win the first ever gold medal for Sinkit. And I will want to pick him up for the Federation of Sinkit and Nevis. So, Purple, you want to, I will continue to big up according to, to when, I, when, when, when I get Wherever. <laughs> okay. No problem. Right. Thank you so much for your contribution. So I also want to say a big up to you as well. Um, you you call ever so often, but I heard it through the grapevine that uh, you're a very giving person and you're very uh, positive to the young people in your village. So I want to say shout out to you as well uh, uh, for the little things that you do that uh, make a big impact. And that, that's the thing. We never understand the impact that the small things that we do um, have in the future. So it doesn't always have to be a big, major activity. It could be something small. And um, that's that's what we all can do to make St. Kitts and Nevis a better uh, society. It starts now because whatever happens now is going to affect us in 5, 10, 15 years. So let's continue to be positive. We're going to go back to the phone lines and say, welcome, caller. You are live on Voices. Welcome. Hello. Hello. I'm back. I'm back for big up two ladies that make them contribution on WinFM Voices regular. One, I don't know her name, but I call her my positive caller. And and other one from the States, but I all time say representing Connery. I love those two ladies and their braveness and their contribution. Okay then um purple. All right, have a wonderful day, Mr. Monstrat. All right. Okay. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you all for your contribution so far to a positive Wednesday. And you know, when I started this sometime last week, I said to myself, let me throw out this challenge to the people of St. Kitts and Nevis and to those listening from overseas. And I said to myself, you know, nobody is going to call because we don't know how to be positive. So we're positive in training. Yeah, <laughs> we go back to the phone lines. Welcome <laughs> caller to Voices. Hi, Purple. How are you today? I'm doing okay. Okay, good. I want to big up um, the Honorable Sam Conder, um, the Honorable um, Harris. I call him Honorable still, Sam Conder, even though he's not. I want to uh, big up, uh, big up Mr. Dwight after fan last week. I want to big up Terry also, and two intelligent people calls in on this show, Mr. Monsrat and the lady from Connecticut. I want to big up those people. They are the people who have kept us, our country, going strong, well, limping along, and who have brought back our democracy, bringing it back, limping by our democracy. So we want to thank these people. And don't worry too much about these people, you see, deep into what is happening that our people are not at that level. So the politicians at the top, they use the small people. They, they, they use the illiterate people to fight for them and just sit up there and laugh at them. You, you don't think the two leaders should be in line? Look at them people down there fighting first. They ain't got no sense. This is what it is. Our people are not at the level to, they're not, you know, into, you know, they're not, they're just not sophisticated enough. So you can't worry about those small people, okay? All right, and thank so, you so much. 
Have a good day. All right, you too. Thank you for your contribution. We're going to use this opportunity. We have to give thanks to our uh, partners, our sponsors. They are the reason why we are able to bring this platform of voices to you. So we'll take a break and say thanks to Rams, Flo, and TDC. And we'll be back with more voices. We're different. We're 98.9. 98.9. Win FM. Watch me a boss and smile out. Ah boy. Freestyle, free boss, a freestyle. Watch me a play and full color meanwhile. Holy pa flavor. If you one of them tries to the drink, you're refreshing and nice. Me tell us I boss me buy you with my money. This I everybody drink, I know me one love it. Have it, yeah. Fit the kids, then that the arm on it. we play in full color. Correct. I am too. I'll take a small. Double XL! That's the size for me! Flo's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk, text, and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flo's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. Imagine a place. Everything your business needs. Superior copy and printing services, business equipment and furniture, and a wide array of renting materials for all occasions. TDC Business Center, providing solutions that work. And welcome back to Voices, ladies and gentlemen. We go back to the phone lines. Welcome, Carla. You are live on Voices. Yes, good morning, a blessed good morning to everyone in St. Kitts and out of St. Kitts. Morning. So let me say thank you to Mr. Bacchus for bringing us Win FM, for giving us a platform where we can hear our voices and our opinions. And let me say good morning to Mr. Monstrat and tell him that I love to hear him and keep positive because God is good at all the time. God is good and to everyone else that even acknowledge me i i'm not worthy but i give you <laughs> thanks and i i thank even those that don't agree with what i say sometimes i big them up too because when i cannot have a, a discussion by myself we need opposition in order to have a conversation so may god bless everyone this morning you have a good day all right and you sound a bit under the weather it's kind of cold up here we have <laughs> It's kind of cold. <laughs> we have snow. We have snow. We have a storm. School is shut down. Oh, today. my. Well, I'm glad we have Win FM and Voices so you could stay a little warm in your soul. That's right. <laughs> All right. Okay, you too, darling. We're going to go back to the phone lines and take this caller. Okay, we lost that call. The phone lines are free and disengaged, so you can also join us on Win FM 989. I uh, want to say good morning to S. France. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, we got to go back to the phone lines and say, welcome, Carly. You're live on Voices. Yes, Lady P. I'm back again. All right. What's up? Yeah, well, the the Statue of Liberty that I was talking about is the one that is situated in Stat on Staten Island. Okay. Yeah, I went into that right up in the thorns and the head. That is the one I've been talking about. Okay, okay. Well, there are so many people in the world that I could big up, but let me start with what I could remember. Let me start with the ladies. I want to big you up. And I want to big up Mrs. Henry, Nurse Garnet, and boy, all the ladies, all women in the world, wherever they may be. There are so many of them I can't remember. And when I say all of them, those who stand for principle, dignity, Honesty and decency and pride and respect. I big you up. But those who deliberately be, be ignorant towards um, the right of the thing, you, you, you study. God will deal with all of us. No respect to them. 
No, when it comes to the man now, I want to big up Dr. Washi, Dr. Innes, Mr. Bradshaw, Dr. Douglas, Dr. Harris, Sam Kando, Dwyer, and many more, many and even patches now. I want to say thanks to all those men who stay focused. And even now, the last one I'm going to go with, not the last one, the second to last one is Lawyer James. I beat him up plenty because a lot of times when people on the ear talking, Lawyer James would cut in and he would educate the listeners how this go and that go. May his soul rest in peace and all of those soul rest in peace. But here this one. When Mr. James in France, we used to campaign and he go up on the platform. He would say, well, comrades, good night. I'm not going to be long as usual. But this is my speech tonight. I'm going to be very short. He said, I once was told that when a speech is short and proper, it is a good one. I thank you. Good night. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, boy! Why you 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 come giving me jokes, making people hear me little annoying cackle, huh? <laughs> All right, Kojo, thank you so much for that one. That made me chuckle. Certainly, that made me chuckle. I'm forgive me, forgive me, y'all. I'm asking forgiveness. I am an absolute laugher. I love to laugh. Uh, so that one caught me off, Gad. But uh, the lines are open for you to uh, give commendation to anyone that you see fit, any organization, any person. We can also still talk about the issues that are affecting our country here in St. Kitts and Nevis. So don't think that because it's Positive Wednesday. I do understand that there are still certain issues that we would need to debate, discuss talk about but what we're not going to do while i am in this chair is we're not going to bitterly argue we're not going to be disrespectful we're going to be cordial and we're going to be adult okay so don't feel that you you are not um able to talk about the issues that are affecting our country so you are welcome to call in and do so and we go back to the phone lines caller welcome good morning good morning good morning lady purple good morning well, and to the um, to the entire federation and the other parts of the Caribbean, the whole world, as a matter of fact. Now, I call in to pick up Mr. Bacchus and Miss Judy Juport Purple. What is this? I admire this Miss Purple a great deal. I well, my list is never ending. But I'll just name out a few. And, of course, Mr. Culture. And, of course, Washi Archibald, he did a good job. And Mr. Robert Bradshaw, these are people who had integrity. I like to emphasize integrity because nowadays I find that that is very much lacking, even among the leadership. And I think that we should have some kind of change. And people like Miss Purple, I think you could send out some good messages. I admire you greatly. And of course, you can leave out Miss Sylvine, Sylvine Henry, Mrs. Sylvine Henry. And we have ladies like Mrs. Josephine Huggins in the cabinet. Those are people that I love. And of course, my whole setup at Zion Moravian Church, I start off with my pastor. My pastor is Mr. Hilton Joseph. We're praying for him right now. At present, he's abroad. But in that church there, we come, we can't leave out God. Spiritual being is essential to one and all. And so, well, everybody in the entire federation, all the leaders at the top, all who have um, made special uh, being reference to good breeding, this one, again, the police lost on, lost on Percival. He's a good character. And anybody with good characters, I big them up. I big them up completely. Well, have a good day. I won't take up no more of your time. No, that's fine. Have a wonderful day as well. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As I as, am... Um, what- we call her Miss Connecticut. I don't know if that's okay with her. But as she as she said, I don't think I am worthy. Worthy, you know. But uh, we do appreciate it here. Okay, so 
why I decided to um, have this positive Wednesday, as I as I've said so many times, is because I feel like perhaps I don't know maybe a psychologist can call it I feel as if in St. Kitts and Nevis in particular because of course that's where I reside uh, I feel like our first instinct is always to be negative and that drives me crazy uh, I am not saying that there will not come a time that we that, that we need to draw attention to some issues that might be taboo that we might not want to talk about. But I find that we've become too comfortable complaining. Am I making sense here? We've, we've made a habit out of complaining and uh, we don't give commendation as easily when things are going well. We don't come back and say, I complained about this, but it is now fixed and it is going well. We need to get into that habit of also equally giving commendation. We're going to go back to the phone lines and say, welcome caller to Voices. Good morning, Toto. Good morning. I would like to big up Sir Kennedy Simon, the first prime minister, and to my doctor who died, Dr. Sebastian, and to my dear friend, King Arrow, is he one, coming from Dumpling. Hi. You there, darling? Getting some feedback. Okay, that caller dropped out. Okay, but guess what? We're going to use this opportunity to say thanks to our sponsors for the second half of Voices. And then we have 50 minutes when we come back on the other side before the headline news. Say thanks to Rams, Flo, and TDC. We'll be right back on Voices. Many, 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 many dishes and many, 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 many more. Quicks means many, 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 many dishes and many, 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 many more. Yes, quicks means many, 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 many dishes and many, 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 many more. Hmm. Just one spoonful of concentrated quicks cleans your whole sink full of dishes. Quicks, 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 clean. Quicks means many, 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 many dishes and many, 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 many more. Quicks, we wash more dishes. Like us on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Ram Supermarket. Follow us on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash Ram Supermarket. And subscribe to us on YouTube, www.youtube.com slash Ram Supermarket. I'll take a small. Double XL! That's the size for me! Lowe's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk, text, and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. You need new tires but don't know what to get. TDC can help. Hi, I'm Goodyear. I ensure great handling and great braking in wet and dry conditions. My name is Sunfone. My continuous block patterns enhance stability at high speed cornering. Did someone say speed? Hi, I'm Torque. Pick me for great performance and stability. Boys, 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 I know exactly what they want. I'm Presser. I'm the perfect fit for your SUV. Pick me and get the ultra high performance with outstanding grip and traction, regardless of the road conditions. So, so which, which one of us are you going to choose? For the most reliable, durable, high performance tires, come to TDC Automotive Divisions. We'll help you choose from the best brands at the best prices. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have just about 12 minutes before the headline news, and I was just about to take your call, caller, and you're gone. So this is Voices on WinFM 98.9. The phone lines are free and we're going to go back to this phone line and say, Welcome caller, you are live on Voices. Good morning, Miss Positive. Hi, hello, how are you? Oh, I'm doing fine, I just finished mopping, so I was praying that I finished before lunchtime. But I hope, <laughs> I hope you heard all your big ups that you got. Yeah, man, I have plenty, you know. Okay. <laughs> but I am like you. I believe in being optimistic. Yes, I am, I am an well, a- absolute I optimist. People in it, you know? Exactly. Well, let me start with some radio personalities. Well, let me start with you, Mr. Bacchus. 
And um, on Dominion Radio, Janiel Boone, he brings on the program in the afternoon. Yes, I listen He's to very that. very inspiring. So big up to Janiel. And on, on the rise, I big up to um, GQ, my good villager, Chico. Yes, that's my boy. And, um, and Jazzy D, on a Saturday morning, I like to hear the, the cultural thing. Right, yes. Yeah, man, big, big up to them. Big up on um, Freedom. Big up to EK. He tries, you know, to do his bit of education, so big up to EK. And all the other stations, but those are the ones I generally listen to. And um, on the other front, big up to all the Sunday school teachers, because we tend to forget them, and all of those who are out there in the churches in charge of the youth department. I, I know that they may go unrecognized, but if you save one, you save a whole generation. So I want to big up to all of them, big up to all of the coaches, all of the house masters in the school, all the coaches. You know, it's sports time now. Yes, certainly. Yeah, man, and all the That's coaches an exciting and time. whatever in the schools, doing their best to try to make sure their, that their school comes first. <laughs> I know SP like you. <laughs> well, well, you know, and I, I, I hope well, I... I, I, I am from the butt as a champion, you know. Well, yes. believe it or not, I am from the Wildcat Zone. I'm a oh, wildcat, yes. Yeah, but but S S B the best we still will, right? Yes, so I'm torn. I'm torn. <laughs> and um big up to the people in Nevis, I mean the Charlestown um secondary school. They come every year and they make a mark, eh? I am telling you. Yes. So I want to big up to all of the, the coaches, both in St. Kitts and Nevis, the athletes. Because I'm telling you, when I go up to the Kim Collins Stadium, right? And I see these children and teenagers running. I said, boy, we have a future. We have a future. We're going to the, we're going to the Olympics. And big up to all the um, other athletes. We have all the, the professional ones. We have a big up to Kim Collins because he set the bar and the children are coming behind. So big up to all the school coaches, primary school, secondary school, those in the college. You know, they are our future. They're going to bring home the goal. All right. <laughs> All right. Have a wonderful day. Did you get your lunch yesterday? All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're going to go back to the phone lines and say, welcome, caller. You're live on Voices. Yes. Good morning, Purple. Good morning. Again, I must say you are very pretty. Thank now, you. <laughs> I want to I want to um, dialogue for a moment. Would you say think it's a, and Nevis is a, is a modern country? Yes. Okay, but uh, we seems to be um, doing things the same old way, and I'm gonna tell you why. A few years ago, I was home. I had a post independence passport, and you know, it's a long time, mm -hmm. and I got the documents. I filled it out, I took it in. And the young lady looked at it and she said, well, who filled out this? I said, I did. She said, no, you got to go and get somebody to do that. I said, I beg your pardon? So you see, we're modern, but we still got these colonial things in us. You, you mean you know, in terms of the notary republic? Is that what you're referring to? No, she actually told me how to go and get somebody to fill out the document. Okay, was this the regular passport uh, form or something other than that? No, no, no. I'm telling you, I had a post-independence passport. Right. And I was trying to get a new passport. Right. So are you referring to some a, a, a form different to just the regular old uh, application form for a passport? Because that doesn't sound Same. like... Uh, I don't want to say sense, but that does, that's, that doesn't sound like what I know the process to be. I know that you do have to get a lawyer or a notary public to uh, sign, I think it's Section 9. I could be misquoting, but I don't know. Other than that, I don't know that you have to have someone fill it out for you. Well, I didn't appreciate that and... So I took, you know, when I went back, I took the same document to the embassy in Washington and got a passport. Right. Now, <laughs> what's the difference with me doing it there and doing it someplace else? 
no questions asked. Just pu- just presenting it, you know, ID and birth certificate, blam, blam, boom, boom, everything done. Right. But I want to move away from that. And one more thing quickly. Now, how much years we going to, uh, independence we going to be celebrating this year? 35? Correct, yes. Now, when I grew up as a, as a young person, you know, the police uniform was the same uniform. So why are we still told in that same uniform today? One of the things I could recall, those guys in those green uniform, black people couldn't wear them. The only thing they could wear, well, let me put it this way, the only rank a black person could hold was a sergeant. But yet we keep holding on to these British, you know, system. Why can't we create our own uniform for our police? That, that uniform doesn't look good, you know. That is it's not true. That is your it. opinion. Maybe it's maybe it's it's it has been around for a while, but I like it. <laughs> maybe in your opinion you, it doesn't look nice, but I like it. You like the uniform? Yes, I do. But that's the colonial uniform. That doesn't mean that because it's colonial, it doesn't look nice. <laughs> that's but just my no, that's just my opinion. Continue making your point. Don't let me um interrupt you. <laughs> so we when we gonna create our own in the next six years, we need to move away from that. We say we're independent. We you know we, we need to create our own symbols. One day I see some officers in a struggle with a guy, and we ha- actually had one officer there picking up hats. What's so important about the hat? You know what? The crown is on it. We need to pin these things on the uniform. In some cases, the officer may got to run. He may lose his hat. You're telling me he lose the hat, he lose the crown? Right. You know, we... we we need to, you know, revamp the old colonial system and move to our own. You know, but as I say again, you look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so so much for your uh, contribution today. I appreciate that, Carla. Have a wonderful day. All right. <laughs> you snuck that one in there on me. Well, it is just about four minutes before we go to the headline news. We can take a few more calls. And so we go back to the phone lines. Welcome, caller. You are live on Voices. Hi. Now is when your views now. Views here now. <laughs> yes, good morning again. Morning. I mean, what is wrong with our uniform? I think the uniform is beautiful. I love to see our policemen and women. They look so nice, especially when they line up. I love to see them. I don't see what is wrong with the uniform. Does the uniform make us any less independent? I don't think it do. I mean, come on. Sometimes you have to know where you're coming from in order to get where you're going. So I don't see nothing wrong with the uniform. The uniform is beautiful. Wear your uniform with proud police officers. Nothing wrong with it. We, we took on up in the colonial, this colonial, that. But yet we always begging our colonial masters then for this and for that. We say independence. Let us stop. Beg everybody then. You have a good day. Oh, my. All right. Thank you so much for your input today. I will go back to the phone lines. Carla, welcome. You're live on Voices. Yeah, just briefly, this morning I would like to recognize them. Um, number of funeral homes for their services towards our loved one once they are passed. Um, Jenkins Funeral Home um, and Company and uh, Limiga as well as um, Mackie Hazel and the Eastern Benevolent Society and Honkins. All those funeral home with the services they render outstanding to the passing of our loved one. And um, I would at this time would extend my sympathy to quite a number of uh, families who really have lost loved ones since the beginning of the year. Each day there is someone who really passed that I 
almost familiar with, I'm from member of the family. And so I would right now extend my deepest sympathy to those who have lost their loved one already for the, the year. This is February. And may their soul rest in peace. And may we look closer to God. But really, today we're here. Tomorrow we today gone. We ca- today we could disappear. Yes, we indeed. Could, uh, Thank you so much you for your input. Like, today we're here, tomorrow we're gone, but... It's today we here. To, today, today we, we could gone. be. Exactly, yes. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. We go back to the phone line. Welcome, caller. You have 60 seconds before the headline news. Go right ahead. Yeah, short and quick. Uh, my good friend in Connecticut, I wanted to know that uniform came from the Leeward Island Police Force. You go to Dominica, you go Antigua, you go Angola, and you see the same uniform. Right. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. I, I thought about that as well. Uh, but I did not want to comment on it because I have no history on it, so I didn't want to speak on it. But I I do know, well, from what I've seen with my own eyes and experience, that I think a few other islands have the, the same uniform, the same gray and black, the same. They look ap- the same. <laughs> but it is now time for the headline news. I want to say thanks to the sponsors for the first half of Voices, Rams, Flow, and TDC, and to you, our contributors to Voices, we will see you on the other side as we continue Positive Wednesday. You found the sound 98.9. Win, 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 FM. FM. We now bring you the headline news. The headline news is brought to you by Caribbean Alliance, The Grange, KDP Enterprises, Famcare, Subway, Carib Brewery, and CNC Trading. Protect your life. Or 469-5303. Delia Walwyn. People you can trust. Shipping your cargo shouldn't be a hassle. It can be as easy as a single call to Emerjet International, your worldwide cargo transportation solution. We provide all the services you need to ship your goods anywhere in the world. Whether your shipment is fresh, frozen, large or small, alive or hazardous, you can count on Emerjet to deliver it safe and sound. Emerjet International. By land, sea or air. We get it there. For more information, visit us online at www.amerijet.com or call us at KDP Enterprises, telephone number 466-9595. Come to Subway and eat fresh. Try our daily specials. That's right. We have a special every day at Subway. Come in today and eat fresh. Stay healthy. BioCare Lab says it's your hair, so wear it your way with Curls and Naturals Hair Care Solutions. Start it right with Curls and Naturals Texturizer Hair Softener. Infuse with Moroccan Argan Oil and maintain it with a Dream Curl Cream with honey and shea butter, all with daily moisturizing anti-fizzing shine serum. For locks and twists, nourish them with a curl-defining custard and see them grow. It's your hair. Wear it your way with Curls and Naturals. A brand new you every day. Carl's and Natural, sold locally by CNC Trading on the CAP Southwell Industrial Site. Telephone 465-4081. Did you know that the Grange Healthcare Facility is the first purpose-built non-governmental healthcare organization on St. Kitts, offering 24-hour nursing, therapeutic, and residential care for older adults? It's situated at Otley, seven miles east of Vastair, in beautifully landscaped surroundings. The Grange has a team of highly trained professionals and provides care that's rated as being comparable with UK and North American standards. The Grange offers varied accommodation to suit your individual needs, and our all-inclusive packages make the cost of care per hour the most competitive on the island. Services include convalescent care for all ages, daycare facilities for older adults, rehabilitation services, and training and continuing education for healthcare providers. For more information, call 466 
5525 or 465 8020. Fax 466 8221. Or email thegrangehelp at gmail.com. Or visit our website at www.grangehealthcarefacility.com. I want it cold, blue and gold, real beer. One of a kind. When you try, you can't deny one beer. It's on your mind. Carib, carib, I need a carib, real beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that special magic when I open the gold crown. Carry the beer for me. Carry the beer for you. Carry beer, you know we grow. Beastly cold, right on cue. Carry beer. It's a part of me, a part of you, Carib. Real beer is Carib. WinFM has just received information from the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force that in the case of the death of Shaquille Pemberton, the forensic pathologist, Dr. Valerie Alexandrov, has revised the cause of death. The police issued a press release on February 3, 2018, which relied on the report provided by the forensic pathologist, Dr. Valerie Alexandrov, regarding the death of Shaquille Pemberton. His initial report indicated that Mr. Pemberton's cause of death was as a result of natural causes. However, since on undertaking further laboratory tests in Trinidad, Dr. Alexandrov has now revised his opinion and ruled that the method of death is undetermined. While Mr. Pemberton's death was due in part to acute pulmonary failure due to hemorrhagic viral myocarditis and pneumonia, the forensic pathologist is of the view that there are other inconsistencies surrounding the manner of death that merit further investigation. On this basis, the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force are continuing investigations and will be seeking the support of the public to assist with their inquiries. Yesterday, Winifem spoke with the father of Shaquille Pemberton, who indicated that he was not satisfied satisfied with the information provided by the release dated February 3rd, 2018, when FM is following this story. The high cost of affordable and requisite medical treatment for chronic diseases such as kidney failure has been a major concern for the government. Owing to this concern, consultations are to begin on February 22nd with the hope of leading to a national health care plan that includes universal health care coverage. Representatives from the University of the West Indies Health Economic Unit and the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, will participate in the consultations. This was disclosed by the Senior Minister of Health, Honorable Eugene Hamilton, during a recent government press conference. He was at the time sympathizing with locals who are footing the expenses of dialysis treatment. And so the intention is for us to have a program of universal health insurance, universal health care coverage, so that every person in the Federation who is facing chronic diseases can find access to health care <coughs> treatment in the Federation and where necessary outside of the Federation. Hamilton indicated that the high cost for treatment of dialysis and other chronic illnesses can be an extremely serious setback for patients and their families and the government. There is a concern of this government about these chronic illnesses and the cost. $125,000 per year can bankrupt any family. Indeed, with over 100 persons on register, if they were all to be chronic, it could bank up a country. The senior minister of health also highlighted the invaluable support that the Republic of China on Taiwan has given to the Federation, especially in the healthcare sector. Because this government is so concerned about the care, healthcare costs, that at first instance we contacted the Taiwanese and got support from the Taiwan's Veterans General Hospital. They are engaged in a three-year program as we speak to help to train and develop the capacity to work with persons who are at varying levels of kidney diseases. In fact, the intention of that program within a three-year period is to train persons in our health centers 17 they are, so that they can do testing at the point of contact for early diagnosis of persons who are likely 
to become chronically ill from those diseases so that we can chart a course to slow down or perhaps reduce or prevent persons from becoming chronically ill. Hamilton, while praising the efforts being made to address the issue of chronic illnesses from a community level, also echoed the call of Junior Minister of Health Wendy Phipps for locals to live more healthy lifestyles as prevention is better than cure. The 6.4 magnitude earthquake that shook Halian City, Taiwan, on Tuesday, 7 February 2018, was followed by simultaneous tremors in and around the area. When FM received an update from Cynthia Hung, first secretary of the Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan, in Bastyr, St. Kitts and Nevis, about the situation in Taiwan, she commented particularly on the safety of the approximately 60 students from the Federation studying there. According to our update information, there are like six, uh, six deaths toll and around 260 uh, people injured and around 67 people uh, lost contact. And so our government and our military force are all involved in the disaster relief. And according to our information, there are currently over, over 60 students from St. Kitts studying in Taiwan. And they are, they are studying in three major uh, universities in Taiwan. One is in Taipei, one is in Kaohsiung, and one is in Hualien, where the earthquake uh, occurred. But there are around like 10 students from St. Kitts studying in Hualien City. But um, as far as we know, they are all safe, so we don't receive any information about any injury uh, regarding the students from St. Kitts. So I think um, the families, their families in St. Kitts, can be, I mean, can feel, I mean, not worried about their safety. So we will, we will keep following the most updated information. A Kittishan student, located just a few miles away from Halian City, where the earthquake struck, provided an account of what is happening on the ground. I'm a student currently studying here in the Hualien, in the Shofan region, which is just a few miles away from Hualien City, where the um, earthquake caused the most damage. Right now, people are generally going about their business as normal, but um, last night, though, you could see persons camping out in their cars and tents in here. In this area, they didn't really have any damage. The most damage here was a few broken bottles. The tremors are less frequent right now, and they're getting weaker. Hopefully, I could find that um, things will go back to normal soon. Minister of Foreign Affairs, Honorable Mark Brantley, indicated... I have been in touch with our ambassador in, in Taipei. Ambassador Jasmine Huggins. Uh, I've also been in touch with the Taiwanese ambassador here in St. Nevis, Ambassador George Wei Chow, and uh, we have also reached out to students and learned that our students who are in that area are all safe. So at this point in time, we are aware that the Kitishan and Nivishan students in that area have reported that they're safe. Uh, that is the information that we have at this time, and we are hoping and praying. Uh, that that remains the case. Our prayers and our thoughts are with the government and people of Taiwan at this very difficult time. Uh, they have been a very good friend and a very sincere friend to St. Kitts and Nevis. And I call on all of our nationals at home and abroad to pray for the Taiwanese people as they go through this very difficult period of, of this earthquake. Ms. Hung indicated that earthquakes are very common in Taiwan. However, perhaps in Halian, they are not usually this strong. She assured, clip 3, Since Taiwan's geographical location in the Circum-Pacific Seismic Zone has made it prone to earthquakes, the government of Taiwan has implemented specific seismic design building codes to ensure that buildings are able to withstand a certain level of seismic activity. An example of this is... According to the National Center for Research on Earthquake Engineering in Taiwan, buildings with any one of the following conditions shall be designed according to established criteria. 1. If the building is 50 meters high or higher, or has more than 15 stories. 2. If the building is higher than 20 meters or has more than 5 stories, and it has vertical mass, stiffness, or configuration irregularities, or torsional irregularity in any of the stories. And 3. If the building is higher than 20 meters or has more than 5 stories, and its structural system is non-uniform throughout its height. Cynthia Hung, first secretary of the Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan, in Bastyr, St. Kitts and Nevis, 
thanked the people and government of St. Kitts and Nevis for the concern which they have showed for the people of Taiwan in this time of difficulty. Observer Radio News Talk 911. The government made 12 million US dollars from the sale of land at Valley Beach, which it had once intended to contribute to a joint venture hotel project. This is according to the Information Minister. In this year's budget, the Prime Minister announced that the government's national asset management company, Namco, would no longer be partnering in the project. Nicholas disclosed today who is the investor at the helm of the project. Observer Media's Daviel Payne has the details. Vernon Investments Limited is the name of the investment firm that is now funding the hotel project at Valley Beach. The Information Minister Melford Nicholas says that the national asset management company Namco will use the 12 million U.S. dollars that it made from the sale of the Valley Beach land to help fund work at the port. Nicholas did not say who the principals of Vernon Investments Limited were. It is unclear whether the firm is related to online gaming mogul Calvin Ayer. In his budget presentation, the Prime Minister Gaston Brown said that Calvin Ayer will take the lead in turning the Valley Church Beach into a high-end resort. When the project was originally announced in 2016, the Prime Minister said the government was contributing the land and 20 million U.S. dollars. Brown said at the time that other investors would have put in 50 to 55 million U.S. dollars. The firm Charisma Hotels and Resorts was named as the developer of the project. It is not clear whether Charisma Hotels and Resorts is still involved or how much capital they were contributing to the project. The total value of the project was originally 75 million U.S. dollars. I am Dave Lee Payne Abbott reporting for Observer Radio News Talk 911. An epic victory celebrated in the Museum of London. 100 years since the first British women got the vote, all thanks to the suffragettes who took on the establishment and won. It wasn't easy. They chained themselves to fences outside Parliament. Many were arrested, beaten, went on hunger strike. One even threw herself at the King's horse in the famous Derby race. She died, but the cause did not. The suffragettes struggled, but they ultimately won. But what would they make of British society today? 100 years on, would they believe that women have achieved true equality? It wasn't until 1928 that younger and poorer women were also given the vote. And, says this very in-character actor, the suffragettes always hoped to inspire future generations. When we win our fight, that's not going to be the end of all the fights. You know, we're going to have to keep fighting, I'm sure. And I just hope that we can set the precedent for that and that they, you know, keep fighting just as hard as we are. She, no doubt, would agree. Emmeline Pankhurst, leader of the suffragettes and great-grandmother of Helen, who wonders if the glass is only half full. In every single measure of political equality, we still have so far to go. In every single parliament, and in particular in the UK, we only have 32% representation. If you look at all other aspects of democracy, so the legal system, the, the media reporting of parliament and of politics, we still have a lot to go. Live from Soho Theatre in London. The Comedy throws light on women's struggles today. This is humiliating, but it also made it a feminist week. It's the first week in our relationship that I out-earned him. <laughs> With British institutions, from Parliament to the BBC, hit by revelations of gender discrimination. It feels like we're just failing over and over, but we have to remember the suffragettes failed for over 50 years. They only succeeded once. And we only need to su succeed once. Their impossible is our normal life. And we are the hopes of the suffragettes. Our debt to the heroines of the past, maligned in their day as misguided radicals, we remember them as being on the right side of history. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, London.
This is the Carib Update News Service and reporting, I am Oslin Crosby. Former U.S. President makes clean energy pledge on visit to Dominica. This is the big story we are tracking this hour for Wednesday, February 7, 2018. Come and experience fun, meet with amazing people, and enjoy fantastic food at our 22nd annual Seconds Music Festival. Five days of festivities from June 27 to July 1st of 2018, with main stage performances from the 28th to the 30th. Here's the first wave of confirmed acts: the legendary Patti LaBelle, Queen of Dancehall, Spice, Miss Lauren Hill. Many more acts to be announced. Book now and save the date. For more information, log on to SankitsMusicFestival.net. The Sankits Music Festival, an experience like no other. Now for the details. Former United States President Bill Clinton Tuesday said Caribbean countries could lead the global initiative for developing cleaner energy reducing the threat of climate change and improving the economies of developing countries. Clinton, who arrived in Dominica for talks with Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt and members of his administration, said Norway has been instrumental in assisting his foundation in developing the new energy initiative. Clinton said he also bought into the idea that the Caribbean could become the first sustainable region in the world and supported Dominica's efforts to become the first totally climate-resilient country. Scarrett, who spoke alongside Clinton, said that discussions had already started with the foundation to develop a rapid integrated resource plan for the island's energy sector. Clinton has been visiting Dominica and other countries that were battered last September when Hurricanes Irma and Maria, two Category 5 storms, passed through the Lesser Antilles. Clinton was among leaders who attended and addressed an international donor conference held in New York last November to mobilize resources for the affected countries. He said the Clinton Foundation will be launching an action network on post-disaster recovery. The action network will formally convene for a meeting on April 3rd at the University of Miami, where stakeholders will continue to work towards commitments to action to address the ongoing immediate response needs as well as the long-term recovery in the region. A commission chaired by former Jamaica Prime Minister Bruce Golden has recommended that Jamaica withdraw from the Caribbean single market and economy within five years if CARICOM does not implement a number of reforms within that period. Those reforms would include all of the most contentious subjects for the regional integration process, full free movement of people throughout the community, subject only to exclusion for security, and public health reasons. The importance of that issue was underlined by the celebrated Shanique Myri case, which the Caribbean Court of Justice ruled on in 2013. The House of Representatives in Jamaica became chaotic on Tuesday after opposition member Fitz Jackson accused the government of trying to railroad the debate on the Banking Services Act. The accusation came when leader of government business Everald Warmington announced that the House was suspending debate on the matter. Jackson raised strong objections, saying the matter has been before the House since 2016. This led to House Speaker Pernell Charles calling for a divide vote on whether to suspend. After the vote, 30 members agreed to suspend, 21 said no, while 10 members were absent. Jackson, upset by the vote, noted that he had been advised that the issue would have been debated fully on Tuesday. A vote has now been cast, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Jackson, Mr. Jackson, Mr. Jackson. To suspend it. No, I have a question. I have a question, Mr. Speaker. A question. Mr. Jackson, you're a senior parliamentarian. This matter is closed. Mr. Speaker, I'm seeking clarification. You cannot at this stage speak Mr. Speaker, on the matter. If the, if the matter being you suspended today, will when will it be taken again? The House needs to advise the country. We can't just blindly just push the cat, kick the can down the road, road at our convenience. Meanwhile, the Bank of Jamaica has received stinging criticism from the opposition over what it said is the failure of the central bank to protect the interests of customers of deposit-taking institutions. Jackson again raised the issue of banks suspending dormant fees when he announced he was filing a lawsuit. 
He said suspension is not enough as the action already constituted a breach of the existing act. The Bank of Jamaica, in my judgment, has fallen down here. Because the Bank of Jamaica is the regulator of the financial institutions. They are the ones that ought to see that the law is being observed and adhered to. They have done nothing in this regard. Who is going to protect the public's interest? Who? We are expected to do that. That's what they elect us for. This is Newsbreak from the Carib Update News Service. In more news, opposition lawmakers in St. Vincent and the Grenadines walked out of Parliament on Monday in protest over a decision that House Speaker Jomo Thomas made last Wednesday to allow the government to amend their motion of no confidence before leaving the Assembly Chamber ahead of Camilio Gonzalez's first budget address as Finance Minister. Leader of Opposition Godwin Friday handed Thomas a letter outlining why opposition lawmakers have decided to boycott the budget speech. The letter also included legal authorities in support of the opposition's position that the Speaker should have allowed debate on the motion of no confidence. After walking out of the Assembly Chamber, opposition members joined supporters of the New Democratic Party who had gathered to protest the Ralph Gonzalez government outside the precincts of the Parliament building. This has been another edition of Newsbreak from the Carib Update News Service, the Caribbean's newsroom. Reporting, I'm Austin Crosby. Shaquille Pemberton will be laid to rest tomorrow, Thursday, even as controversy surrounding how he died has only intensified since police released a revised autopsy on Tuesday evening. The body of the 23-year-old hotel worker was discovered sometime after 5 p.m. January 27th in the vicinity of the airport tower in Gillard Meadows. Police said a passerby came across the body and notified authorities. From what WinFM has been able to ascertain from close relatives, persons said they last saw Shaquille late in the afternoon on the day before his body was discovered. When police informed of the discovery of the body, the release stated that there were what appeared to be injuries to the chest. At about 8.30 p.m. on February 3rd, police issued a press release stating, quote, the police have ruled out foul play in the death of 23-year-old Shaquille Pemberton of New Road after an autopsy showed that he died of natural causes, end quote. The release stated that forensic pathologist Dr. Valerie Alexandrov carried out a post-mortem on the body on Saturday, February 3rd, and he ruled that death was due to acute pulmonary failure due to hemorrhagic viral myocarditis and pneumonia. This raised eyebrows in some quarters, and relatives and members of the public questioned the results, saying things were just not adding up. They claimed Shaquille's wallet and cell phone were not found on his body, and his pockets were turned out. On Monday evening, Police Commissioner Ian Quilly told WinFM that despite the public uproar, they were satisfied with the results of the autopsy, and the investigation into Shaquille's death was therefore closed. He also noted that there had not been any formal request for a second autopsy. At about 5.40 p.m. Tuesday, police issued a press release stating, quote, The police issued a press release on February 3, 2018, which relied on the report provided by the forensic pathologist, Dr. Valerie Alexandrov, regarding the death of Shaquille Pemberton. His initial report indicated that Mr. Pemberton's death was a result of natural causes. However, since undertaking further laboratory tests in Trinidad, Dr. Alexandrov has now revised his opinion and ruled that the method of death is undetermined. While Mr. Pemberton's death was due in part to acute pulmonary failure due to hemorrhagic viral myocarditis and pneumonia, the forensic pathologist is of the view that there are other inconsistencies surrounding the manner or mode of death that merit further investigation. On this basis, the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force is continuing investigations and will be seeking the support of the public to assist with their inquiries, end quote. In light of the new information, when FM reached out to Shaquille's father, Nigel Pemberton, on Wednesday morning, if all of the test results had not been received, the pathologist should not have declared a cause of death at that time. Mr. Atherton said, however, the family still intends to proceed with the funeral. Family members are now clamoring for the autopsy report to be made public or at least be made accessible to the family. According to his relatives, Shaquille had recently undergone a medical examination 
and there was no report of any illness, especially ones as serious as a viral infection of the heart and a pneumonia. WinFM has since reached out to Police Commissioner Queeley to answer several burning questions regarding the revised autopsy, related processes, and if the investigation is now criminal in nature. He indicated that he is presently abroad on official business and was in a meeting when WinFM called in the hours before press time. A candlelight vigil for Shaquille Pemberton is planned for tonight, Wednesday, starting in Taylor's Housing Extension at 7 o'clock and ending at Nigel Snacket on Victoria Road. WinFM will have more on this developing story at a later newscast. The headline news was brought to you by Caribbean Alliance, The Grange, Kedipi Enterprises, Fan Care, Subway, Carib Brewery, and CNC Trading. I want it cold, blue and gold, real beer. One of a kind. When you try, you can't deny one beer. It's on your mind, Carib, Carib. I need a real beer, yeah, yeah. I feel that special magic. When I open the gold crown, carry the beer for me. Carry the beer for you. Carry beer, you know we grow. Beastly cold right on cue. Carry beer, you know it's true. It's a part of me, a part of you. Carry beer. You beer is carry. Did you know that the Grange Healthcare Facility is the first purpose-built non-governmental healthcare organization on St. Kitts? offering 24-hour nursing, therapeutic, and residential care for older adults. It's situated at Otley, seven miles east of Vastair, in beautifully landscaped surroundings. The Grange has a team of highly trained professionals and provides care that's rated as being comparable with UK and North American standards. The Grange offers varied accommodation to suit your individual needs, and our all-inclusive packages make the cost of care per hour the most competitive on the island. Services include convalescent care for all ages, daycare facilities for older adults, rehabilitation services, and training and continuing education for healthcare providers. For more information, call 466-5525 or 465-8020, fax 466-8221, or email thegrangehealth at gmail.com, or visit our website at www.grangehealthcarefacility.com. Is your hair thinning, shedding, or breaking? BioCare Labs has researched the causes of split ends, thinning, dry, and brittle hair and has developed a product to solve these weak hair problems. We call it Strong Ends Products. If you desire to grow strong, healthy hair, Strong Ends Products is your solution. Formulated with potent natural ingredients like honey and shea butter to deposit and retain moisture. Castor and almond oil for scalp and roots. And aloe vera and coconut milk for strength. Try the full line of Strong Ends hair products and grow healthy, beautiful here. Strong Ends, sold locally by CNC Trading on the CIP Southwell Industrial Site. Telephone 465-4081. Come to Subway and eat fresh. Try our daily specials. That's right. We have a special every day at Subway. Come in today and eat fresh. Stay healthy. Shipping your cargo shouldn't be a hassle. It can be as easy as a single call to Emerjet International, your worldwide cargo transportation solution. We provide all the services you need to ship your goods anywhere in the world. Whether your shipment is fresh, frozen, large or small, alive or hazardous, you can count on Emerjet to deliver it safe and sound. Emerjet International, by land, sea or air. We get it there. For more information, visit us online at www.amerijet.com or call us at KDP Enterprises, telephone number 466-9595. Protect your life. Or 469-5303. Delia Walwyn. People you can trust. WINN is 98.9. 98.9 is Win FM. Win FM weather. 
And the Win FM weather is brought to you with the kind compliments of TDC and Sweet Cane. Imagine a place that Everything your business needs. Superior copy and printing services, business equipment and furniture, and a wide array of renting materials for all occasions. TDC Business Center, providing solutions that work. When is the last time that you've had lunch or dinner away from home? The ambience of Sweet Cane on Port Zanfi provides you with that touch. Sweet Cane daily specials include burgers, wraps, soup, and tasty seafood dishes. Sweet Cane also caters for events and special parties. Call our Sweet Cane hotline at 465-4345 or 665-7628. Sweet Cane, they've got the touch. And we now take a look for the local weather forecast, at the local weather forecast rather, for today, Wednesday, February 7th for St. Kitts and Nevis. A surface high pressure in the Atlantic will continue to promote breezy conditions across the region for the next couple of days. Uh, patches of low-level moisture embedded in the trade wind flow will continue to move across the area, producing brief periods of passing showers across the islands. The combination of high winds and northerly swells will support hazardous sea conditions across the area. And the weather today will be partly cloudy with a few passing showers that could develop. Tonight will be partly cloudy with a slight chance of passing showers. The winds are east not east to east. Between 12 to 18 knots reaching to... 22 to 24 knots over coastal waters with higher gusts in showers. Seas are rough with swells between 8 to 11 feet and a warning is still in place for small craft operators and sea bathers. Sunset today should take place at approximately 6.10 p.m. and sunrise tomorrow at 6.40 a.m. Today's temperature, the high temperature... 29 degrees Celsius or 84 degrees Fahrenheit and the low is 22 degrees Celsius or 72 degrees Fahrenheit. So generally today should be partly cloudy. And the weather was brought to you by Sweet Cane and TDC. When is the last time that you've had lunch or dinner away from home? The ambience of Sweet Cane on Port Zanfi provides you with that touch. Sweet Cane daily specials include burgers, wraps, soup, and tasty seafood dishes. Sweet Cane also caters for events and special parties. Call our Sweet Cane hotline at 465-4345 or 665-7628. Sweet Cane, they've got the touch. You need new tires, but don't know what to get. TDC can help. Hi, I'm Goodyear. I ensure great handling and great braking in wet and dry conditions. My name is Sunfoam. My continuous block patterns enhances stability at high-speed cornering. Did someone say speed? Hi, I'm Torque. Pick me for great performance and stability. Boys, 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 I know exactly what they want. I'm Presser. I'm the perfect fit for your SUV. Pick me and get the ultra-high performance with outstanding grip and traction, regardless of the road conditions. So, so which, which one of us are you going to choose? For the most reliable, durable, high-performance tires, come to TDC Automotive Divisions. We'll help you choose from the best brands at the best prices. 
We're different. We're 98.9. 98.9. Win FM. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second half of Voices. And uh, before we get into the meat of things on the second half, we have to pause and say thanks to the sponsors. They are SL Hosford's Quartz, Flow, and KFC. We'll be right back on the other side to take your calls. Gotta go. What? February only. It's Hortzwoods Automotive. Gotta go. Clearance sale. All 2017 models. Gotta go. That's right. Come to Hortzwoods Automotive and get up to $15,000 off 2017 models. That's right. Hortzwoods Automotive is making room for 2018 by offering up to $15,000 off 2017 models. That's big. Up to $15,000 off 2017 vehicles. And that's not all. Are you serious? Come now and get 0% down payment. No payment until April. $500 free grocery, free servicing for one year, free bill of sale, free tenting, free registration, free accessories, free licensing. It's worth the automotive got to go clearance sale, the biggest sale of the year. All 2017 vehicles priced to clear. Every 2017 vehicle got to go. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. Shopping is a lot easier with Courts Ready Finance. Choose what you want from our wide range of quality products, and we take care of the rest. Courts Ready Finance's affordability means there's no deposit. There's no need for a lump sum of cash. It's flexible, which means you choose your payment term and you're guaranteed the lowest monthly payments anywhere. Best of all, it's easy. Easy to get and easy to pay. Shop at Courts today and get what you want hassle-free. Courts Ready Finance. Easy, affordable, flexible. I'll take a small. Double XL, that's the size for me. Lowe's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk, text, and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. How does it feel when you got that feeling? You got the flavor you love. How does it feel when you know you're not dreaming? There is nothing above. How you feel when things come together? How you feel when everything nice? How you feel when you see for the flavor, the feeling you get when you taste every bite? Welcome back to Voices, beautiful people. It is now just about 80 minutes before the top of the hour, and we go back to the phone lines and say, Welcome, caller. You are live on Voices. Oh, to forget, my beloved sister. Hi, hi. I'd like to pay tribute to legendary Ned Paul Chilean Musgrave. Yes, that was my netball teacher. Okay. And don't forget, she was a uh, school teacher, too. Yep. And I could never forget when the B Trinidad and Tobago when I was a little boy in New York. He was a 71? Something around the New York in the early 70s. Great. And she was the greatest netballer in the history of netball in the entire Caribbean. I don't, I don't have to ever... You never have to ever give a national award? Any I'm not award? certain. I, I, not that I can recall. National. Perhaps maybe a one or two within the netball arena, but I'm not certain if she has had a national. Uh, maybe someone can call and correct us. Yeah, that, that, that should be done because I saw her. I saw her up here at the Unity function. It was in 2000. 
2000, yeah, yeah, it was, I think it was 2013. You write up in the Bronx and I was speaking. And she, she heard me speaking, so she come up to me. She said, Brother Nabu. So, <laughs> so you know, I know for a long, long time. You know, I was you talking about your junior high school. So I said, I said, what is it? She said, Juliet, she said, yeah, they was talking about why. Yeah, you know, we can't forget people like her and can't forget people like her. And let me say, too, Victor Eddy. Cannot forget Victor Eddy. And the brother was treated so badly because he was a Rastafarian. Even denied the chance to go on the... I don't like to say West Indies because I ain't no West Indies. I'm an African one in the Caribbean. And the Caribbean and the cricket team, man, they treat Victor so bad. Brother, I'm big, big up, big up that brother too. You know, that's a legendary cricketer too, brother Victor. I as you know, that's the name, brother Yaga. You know, and so I just keep it there for today, with uh, you know, my uh, my uh, my celebration of their lives, and you know, give them all the accolades while they are living, where they can see, hear, and feel us. Now, let's just, let me touch on the other thing real quick. You can take me a little time, but not too long. Go right ahead. There are no calls <laughs> at the moment. So from the moment you see me start to tell you wrap up then. But go yes, right ahead. Yes, yes, Sister, like this is something about Haiti. Sister, we treat Haiti so badly. You want to tell me that our brothers and sisters from Haiti Cannot come, uh, uh, someone correct me, cannot come to St. Kitts Nevis without they have a visa. I know that used to be, I don't know if it still is. Because they are in CARICOM, they are our brothers and sisters. All kind of people come into St. Kitts Nevis. And when our sisters and brothers from Haiti, they require a visa to come to St. Kitts Nevis. And that is not just St. Kitts and Nevis. Other, other countries in the Caribbean to start to our brothers and sisters from Haiti, and that is not right. It must be stopped. We think everybody from every part of this planet, but All our right. brothers and sisters, wow, about, about, four, about four hours, you know, come on, that's not right. And I'm calling on this administration, change their immigration policy when they come to Haiti. Our brothers and sisters need to come in, just like people from the Dominican Republic. I have no problem with our brothers and sisters from the Dominican Republic, because our people used to go there in the 40s and 50s and 60s. I mean, the sister, the same last name, the opinion that I have, when she sees that, and she, and she says, she says, you get the same, I ask her. And she tells me her grandfather was from Senkit, but which part of Senkit? You don't know. All right. But he deceased now. All right. So I'm going to take some of the calls, okay? Okay, my beloved sister. Thanks again for the time. Keep up the great works. Pan-Africanism uh, perish. One love. All right. Thank you so much for your contribution. And we go back to the phone lines. Welcome, caller, to Voices. Yes, man. I'll come back in after lunch. Hi, hi. I want to hold a loft some, some more people. Let me start first again with um, Dr. Kennedy Simmons. Mr. Bradshaw, Mr. Lynch Wade, and Dr. William Cano, and Mr. Val Morris. Those men had what you call principle. Those who, 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 who had passed on, they had principle, and those who are alive, they still have their principle. And I would like other, other people in, in, um, in leading position to take a page out of those guys' book. Because they had us under a lock when it comes to discipline and matters of respect. And that is what a lot of us from the old school, the, our, our old school are, 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 are living on today. And what I would like to see in our country, in St. Kitts and Nevis, let us all focus and try and see how many trees we can plant, whether food or for shelter purposes. Because people, one day me and a, a, a guy from Nevis had a little argument on a construction site. I said, boy, hey, but I think it's really got a lot of fruit trees, you know. The, the fellow said, boy, no. Boy, no. I've got my fruit and nevis and I hope. I said, boy, I think it's got more fruit trees than, than nevis. 
He said, okay, let me tell you something. He said, let me tell you something, sir. In a Nibis, Abi got too much of food, and he hear me that one time Abi donkey get to went to the neighbor ground. Yet I finally grab them, the boy them kill him, thief dead. I said, okay, you win. If you never go out with them, could kill your donkey. <laughs> you win. <laughs> so I want us to focus on trees and don't cut down trees. If we could prune them, let us prune them. Don't chop them down. Okay, purple. Have a good day. All right. Thank you so much. Um, and you know, I'm not sure if we. Uh, I I really don't know. We. We so often talk about so many things, but I wonder sometimes if we, you know, our everyday little lives, if we take steps. I know that I have, what, lettuce growing in the backyard. I think we have herbs. We have some baby tomatoes, like, uh, you know, planting stuff. Uh, so that I think we have, we also have, um, not sweet pepper, we have uh, seasoned pepper as well. So, I mean, it's just a little thing, so nobody beg me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it would be great if people could um do a little more agriculture i mean we're still gonna have to buy from the main agriculture people uh but you know it's it's nice to do a little gardening a little grow a little thing here and there we're gonna go back to the phone lines welcome caller you're live on voices i forget to tell you this i am going into the monkey business because every day I sit and I see about seven to nine monkeys in my neighbor yard. And with all the agriculture we're talking about, I don't think it's enough is being done to curtail the population of the monkeys. So I have the material, and I'm going to make monkey traps, and I'm going to have monkey market for people to come and buy monkey. Because I see where I could clean them up and get a revenue from them, and that is what I'm going to work on. As of this week. So by next week, Friday, I would have a trap, one trap done ready. So, Purple, if you desire, monkey meat is very sweet. And I've never had it. And eat, your mother's going to bring them the cat dog and haul them down a bit. You could call me. <laughs> I've never <laughs> had monkey meat. but I've... Well, I, I eat them in the 60s, but I stop. In the 60s? Yeah, I yeah, my mother get them from the man who used to shoot um, and Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and and to me, sorry, to me they taste like sheep. <laughs> oh, so you had but sheep. Why you <laughs> stop eat them because they're not pure vegetarian? I wouldn't go down in detail to discourage people from eating them. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> well, I've never had monkey meat, but um, I do know people had it, and they say it tastes so like mutton, mama. So I don't know. I And I thought, you know, well, I kind of want to start be, well, that's not going to happen. I, you know, I want to start being a vegan. <laughs> but the way that I eat, I'm very picky with what I eat. And I only eat this and I only eat that. So I, sometimes, you know, just to what, a few nights ago, I was looking at uh, some videos and I started questioning the, um, the origin of some of these things that we call meat and chicken and so forth. Um, it's so questionable, you know. Um, it's just so questionable, the food that we eat. And I, I you know, I'm trying to make small steps uh, to change because I find some of the food, they have so many um, things that should not be in food in them, you know. And I, I get so scared sometimes. And it's, it's just for just general health. I think that, the food that is being pumped out to the general population of the world is generally just crappy. But that's just my view. Uh, we go back to the phone lines. Welcome, Carla. You're live on Voices. Yeah, Mr. Pond, me again. Hi, good Can day. you tell our people like Vinci, I know Vinci, that the monkey carry the AIDS virus, please. Our people have gone back in the eating habit. We used to like fish and we leave some kind of meat. Now they're eating monkey meat and eating pork. Pork and monkey meat is bitter. What's wrong with our people? We have gone back as a people. Um, just to say another quick thing about Haiti also, that whatever thing is, we shouldn't be only talking about Haiti, we sorry. Haiti got to be sorry for themselves. Them and the French. Nobody do not hate it. Haiti help, they ain't help us in the... Who Haiti help was the people in Latin America when they got their independence. They ain't help nobody in the Caribbean. So who's responsible for Haiti? The Haitians themselves and the French cats. The French cats... Well, the French and their religion, that is what's killing Haiti. So stop this nonsense about Haiti, I'm sorry, you're not. 
they're the responsible for the whole day in. When you they're refer to they, who are they? The Haitians. The general population, do you really think they have the power to bag in the rights and regulations that they're governed by? Well, you, it's the culture. The culture has to change. It's a, it's a, it's a French Catholic culture. Remember, the French were not like, much like the British and, and so on. It's a culture. French just get their, their freedom not before, uh, just before Haiti, I think. So it's the culture. That is what keeps people back in the old air. That is what makes countries as whole countries, the leaders and themselves. Oh, now you're people. talking. That is where you probably need to be directing it. I think perhaps the leaders and not the actual people of Haiti. Oh, no, the people too. It comes from the people. If we didn't stop a people fight, I think it will be another Haiti today. The people have to stand up. Look in South Africa. They're fighting today. A man in there, even though hate South Africa is one of the most democratic, they have to fight to get this man out of there. He don't want to leave. This is what it is with the black leaders. It happened in think it's 20 years. All right. Come on. Thank you so okay, much for your day. input. So I, you I'm too. glad you didn't zap me. Bye. All right. Um, you're quite welcome. I don't know why you would think I would zap you. I only cut people when they're being disrespectful and um, repetitive and not, um, as I said, being respectful. <laughs> uh, it is just us about five minutes before the one o'clock hour as we continue our discussion here on Voices for today. The lines are free. You're welcome to call in and talk about any issue of your choice as long as you do so respectfully. We are still continuing Positive Wednesday. So if there's any person, any uh, group any organization that you would like to call out for things that they're doing and are not going to uh, going unrecognized rather, then you are welcome to call in and give them a commendation for their good deeds. And as I said, I know sometimes we don't get a lot of calls on positive Wednesdays because, you know, we, we, we always know what's going bad. We always want to find out what's going bad with things. And then we don't ever come back on the, uh, the heel of it and say, hey, you know, this happened. This was a good thing. They did good here. That was a good decision there. Uh, oftentimes that doesn't happen. So I uh, threw out this challenge of Positive Wednesday right here on WinFM 98.9 on Voices to see how good we, the Kittishan and Division public, are at um, giving commendation. And it's, it's a test, and I think, I am not sure, this is just the second Wednesday. So um, I want to say big up to my mom, because I think she's a strong woman, and um, I want to emulate her. We're going to go back to the phone lines and say, welcome, caller, you're live on Voices. Okay, I'm not sure, maybe we lost that caller there. And I'm going to go back to this phone line. Welcome, caller, you're live on Voices. Good afternoon, how are you? Good afternoon, I'm doing well, thank you. Okay, I don't think it's too late to wish you a productive 2018. No, certainly not, thank you. Okay, now I'm hearing a lot about Valentine's Day, um, music festival. What happened to Ash Wednesday falls on the 14th of February. We are not hearing nothing about Ash Wednesday. Lenten season begins. Where are the Christian Council to talk about this? It's an important event. Are they sleeping? I, I would hope somebody would call in and answer your question on their behalf. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thank well, you so much. It's time for them to wake up. The 14th of February begins Ash Wednesday Lent. That's it's it's kind of is it earlier this year because I don't recall it being that early usually. Well, this year it comes early. Okay, it's okay. It's one of those okay. years when everything begins a little earlier. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much so for, for your. The, I'm not finished for the lunch. Okay. We would like to hear some jazz. Senior citizens would like to hear some gospel jazz during the Lenten season. Think it is a blessed country, and. Uh, we have to give what is due to God. Certainly. Keep, keep the Lenten season reverent. Forget about the Calypsos in Bracha days, South Well days. When Ash Wednesday, you couldn't play no Calypso songs as you will be tired. 
So I would like to see some improvement for the length and period. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. And we're going to go back to the phone lines. Welcome, caller, to Voices. Yes, uh, good afternoon, hostess. T good afternoon. Yes, uh, let me say and give God thanks, really, the Most High Jehovah for the rain that we've been receiving here in our federation. Last year we were at a critical point when um, it, water had to be turned off, at least in the night time. I am following um, a real story that is taking place in South Africa, Cape Town, to be exact, I believe. And that city is, um, is experiencing a severe drought that they said by uh, April they would actually turn off the top. The top. Nobody would be able to get water. That is how severe it is in that part of South Africa. And so I really am today counting our blessing that we are getting showers. The water personnel are not really reporting the status in regards to the level of our water supply. Seems like only when it's it it, it reach severe level they come to the people. But I would really thank God today because it's a crisis for those four million persons that are located in that area that would if God in look down upon them and send showers by April. The tops would be torn off in every home. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your contribution uh, to today's uh, program. And I, too, was um, following that story for quite some time. I must admit, I have not followed up on the latest, but I uh, became quite um, intrigued by the fact that uh, they are saying that there'll be no more water. I know sometimes um, stories get put out into the media to kind of um, instill a bit of fear per se. And so I was tracking the situation, but I did not. I have not checked up on it. And I, I, I'll do that. We'll go back to the phone lines. Carla, welcome to Voices. Hey, Judy. Hello, Uncle. Yeah, yeah cool, man. How are you doing? I good. Yeah, one of the thing, what the lady was referring to there is that during the maybe the well up to maybe the nineties, when you see Lent begins and Ash Wednesday, you would not have heard any calypso and so on and the radio, you know. It was kinda of solemn like, you know, play more gospel songs and the period when you would break from the solemn song you would have like um, jazz music. So mm -hmm. the old school people would um, remember that. And just uh, reminiscing a bit too, I think one of the guys we should really um, commend really is the fellow Khan said what? Right, yes. I could tell you the truth. A lot of the local artists, they, whatever popularity they would have acquired was due to a lot to what Khan Edwards would have done and what you call, he used to call it National Showcase. I am telling you, Judy, I would have lost in 35 years, <laughs> almost all the Tuesday nights, once Can, uh, Can's Edwards is on. <laughs> but a lot, a lot, well, I'm not say last, last in terms of sleep. Right. So Can's Edwards, once you see Can's Edwards on the radio, and you watch if people call in to, well, and you know, people is up and he's calling in to congratulate and whatever. Can's will go all through the night. And I'm telling you, for over 35 years, this is not any joke. The amount of sleep that cancer would have, would have used, would have lost, rather, in order to use the media to push our local um, Calypsonians and music players, uh, entertainers on a whole. You, you, would not, you wouldn't want to accept it easily, I'm telling you, but he deserves, he deserves something too. Okay, man. Take, take care. All right. Uh, thank you so much for your contribution. Well, uh, Mr. Kant Edwards, he's still, for those of you who wouldn't, who may not know, um, even though it is conflicting with what the last two callers would have um, talked about, well, the, this 
last caller and the second to last caller. Cons Edwards still does a similar show right here on Win FM 98.9. And he does this from midnight on Sundays straight up until 6 o'clock when I get in on Monday mornings. So if uh, that's something that you're still interested in, uh, Cons Edwards does that right here on Win FM 98.9. We go back to the phone lines. Welcome, caller. You're live on Voices. I just want to embrace Carlton and Drupal. So up is the jewelry standard and think it's a new of so it is. Thanks. All right. Thank you so much. I think he said he wants to uh, shout out Carlton DuPont uh, in relation to uh, the... the the jewelry in saying it's over the years. I think you weren't clear, Carla, but I think that's what you uh, would have said. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will take a break now and say thanks to our sponsors for giving us the opportunity to have voices. And they are uh, SL Hosford's KFC, Flow and Quartz. We'll be back on the other side with more voices. WINN is 98.9. 98.9 is Win FM. Gotta go. What? Go. February only. It's Hortsman's Automotive. Gotta, gotta go. go clearance sale. All 2017 models. Gotta go. That's right. Come to Hortsman's Automotive and get up to $15,000 off 2017 models. That's right. Hortsman's Automotive is making room for 2018 by offering up to $15,000 off 2017 models. That's big. Up to $15,000 off 2017 vehicles. And that's not all. Are you serious? Come now and get 0% down payment. No payment until April. April $500 free grocery, free servicing for one year, free bill of sale, free tenting, free registration, free accessories, free licensing. It's Horse Pajar Motive. Gotta go clearance sale. The biggest sale of the year. All 2017 vehicles priced to clear. Every 2017 vehicle gotta go. Terms gotta and go. conditions apply. See store for details. How does it feel when you got that feeling? For the flavor, the feeling you get when you taste every bite. I'll take a small. Double XL! That's the size for me! Lowe's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk, text, and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. Shopping is a lot easier with Courts Ready Finance. Choose what you want from our wide range of quality products and we take care of the rest. Courts Ready Finance's affordability means there's no deposit. There's no need for a lump sum of cash. It's flexible, which means you choose your payment term and you're guaranteed the lowest monthly payments anywhere. Best of all, it's easy. Easy to get and easy to pay. Shop at Courts today and get what you want hassle-free. Courts Ready Finance. Easy, affordable, flexible. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have uh, just over 10 minutes remaining in today's, make that 15 minutes rather, remaining in today's program. And we're going to go back to the phone lines and say welcome caller to Voices. Uh, Mr. Ponte, yes, sorry to bother you. This is my last call for today. I, too, would also like to pick up Mr. Carlton, Mr. Carlton DuPont. He has been a real citizen, freedom lover, when he's paying all those thousands of dollars to be on the show and fight for his country. And I'd also like to pick up Mr. Politics and Mr. Culture also for letting us have our country back, our democracy. Slim thing along, but it's getting there. So I'd like to pick up those three people. And if you could, if you could pick up the deceased, I'd like to pick up Bradshaw and Southwell also. Thank you, ma'am. All right, thank you so much again for your contribution. And, uh, you know, there we had a few callers uh, bigging up uh, some people. Uh, Sam Condor, the Honorable Sam Condor, the Honorable uh, Prime Minister Harris, Mr. Dwyer Astafan, Mr. Carlton DuPont. Uh, we had so many others. 
uh, that are not coming to my mind at the moment. And of course, uh, Bradshaw and those who would have set the, the way for us from before. We go back to the phone lines and say, welcome caller, you're live on Voices. Yes, good afternoon, Judy. Hello. Well, let me start. I want to pick up your mom. My, she was my good student, you know, always smiling. Oh, yes, she did tell me that. <laughs> yeah, man, always quiet and always smiling. And, you know, she worked along with her husband to build that business. Definitely. You know, a strong woman. So I want to pick up your mother. I want to pick up your father, too. He, he, he makes me laugh. He's an encouragement, you know. So I want to pick up Mr. Dupont. Good morning. Good afternoon, Mr. Dupont. Good afternoon to your mom. Um, I want to pick up... Um, a gentleman named Leroy Archibald. Now, this gentleman has been laid aside for quite a while. But in, while he's there, he writes letters of encouragement to people and call people, you know. And also Earl Clark. These are people who have not allowed their, their own um, disabilities to keep them from helping other people, cheering on other, other people. One of the big up Doris. Doris is one of the ladies at the McKnight Center. Very, very bright. You wouldn't believe Doris can see. Doris, um, Doris is most strong. She's a very strong personality and very encouraging. And the big up um, Sharon, she is the teacher. Big up Mr. Boyne from the Blind Society for providing the opportunities for um, people without, with sight, without sight and those who have disabilities to be able to learn to use the computer. Big up to Mr. Tony Mills, Anthony Mills, and Mary Patricia Clark, nurse, and nurse Clark. Big, big up to all, Jamal. Big up to Jamal and DeAndre and the rest. All of you, Eldika, that's my assistant too. A little girl, their name, um, one name Princess, and my name Shorty, and everybody at the center. Want to big up, big up Pastor Kev, Kelvin Jones. I hate not keeping so well. Pastor Jones, big up to you. He was my Sunday school teacher at Brother Connor's church, Baptist, because I was raised in it. And he's the one, he kept encouraging me to become a Christian, you know. And today I really, really praise God for him because it has made a difference in my life. Big up to Sylvia Penny. As a lady, a strong lady. Her husband was the deacon, Deacon Penny. And he died suddenly and left her with Children, one unborn, and she struggled, and today she can walk proudly. You have to big up to people like that, you know, Judy. Certainly. Yeah, because some of us throw in the towel, the least thing happened to us. We throw in the towel. But she struggled and whatever, walked to 23 jobs, and today her children are doing something. Miss Penny, I appreciate you. I admire you. God bless you. Big up, big up to everybody else out there. All right. Uh, thank you so much. And I, I again, I hope I, I, you heard your uh, words of commendation that came in from other people uh, to you uh, coming from as far as Monstrat. <laughs> so saying again, good afternoon to Mr. Monstrat. As we continue on Voices for today, uh, we have just about now before I told the incorrect time. OK, I'm going to tell the correct time today. We have just about uh, 18 minutes remaining on today's program, and we go back to the phone lines. Welcome, caller, to Voices. Yes, man. Me have to come in behind me, send we to an adults, you know. Me want, me want to big up your mama and your papa. <laughs> because I have learned a lot from you, father. His heart is so soft and so kind that he reach out to the extreme end to help people who were in need, and they go to him for help. And when done, he had to get on the radio and talk how people turn and grateful to him. So I want to, to encourage him to continue to stay strong. I've learned a lot from him and I admire him because he ain't telling a lie when you hear him talk. So, so I want to hold he and your mom highly aloft. And I want to big up all who work in the sugar industry in St. Kitts. Every one of them who done dead and who are alive. Because they work well hard. And uh, when I see, when I feel the sun, and I know how it is to go in a cane field, you pick up stark meat for cattle. I know what they went through. And to see some of them today, even though their skin look old and look chop up, chop up iron, they still a struggle. And I only wish that they were looked after 
much better than they did. So I want to big up everybody who work in the sugar, like I say. Big up cans and all those men who work and said they said come right down till now. And I want to big up Mr. Bacchus and and, and um, what do you call me partner there? BJ and Daddy T and everybody in Winifem and Tony and all those great journalists who we had before. And Andrew Huey and Bob David. So have a good day. Miss, Miss Lady. All right, thank you so much. Okay. We're going to go back to the phone lines. Welcome, caller. You are live on Voices. Hey, good day, Purple. Hello. Um, the, the person I want to give props to is the late Dr. Warner that used to do the Wednesday show on Voices. Um, I think he's the one that should get credit for the unity government. He's the one that planted the seed that um, a unity government, government could work. Unfortunately, he never lived to see that come through, but... I think he should get a lot of credit for that. Um, a lot of people want to take credit, but he's the one that first started talking about it, and he's the one that made it easier for the people to accept the unity government. So I want to give him props for that and his family. All right. Thank you so much for your contribution. Appreciate you. it. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, if you go to our WinFM web- website, we keep you updated there on winfm.com. And I'm reading here over 70 cases of cancer diagnosed at JNF Hospital in 2017. In my opinion, that's a lot. So I want to know what are some of the positive things we can do, the positive changes we can make, the positive uh, things that we can implement into our life. Uh, For instance, me, I used to exercise ever so often. Um, I saw the guy from the gym the other day, the owner, and he was like, well, girl, long time ain't see you. (laughs) So that's one thing. Uh, maybe I can do a little bit uh, of exercise at home to stay healthy. And I, I, again, I was speaking about this earlier. At one point, I remember somebody telling me that they don't think that food is a contributor to that, to cancer. And I said to them, I said, I think so. You know, I feel like the food that we are eating might not be the healthiest like once ago. You know, as much, we don't eat as much grown provisions and all of that anymore. We're going to go back to the phone lines. Welcome, Carly. You're live on Voices. Yes, too, man. I want to big up Dr. Juan, I mean, Dr. Juan, too, even though he died and gone, you know? Yes, yes. And I also want to say, to tell people, when you plant a seed of a plant in the earth, you could throw it up and swallow it and it be, will be digested in the system. You cannot plant a cabbage seed and get plastic. I hear people who does, who does eat this kind of food, these cheap $5 food, so that they got plastic cabbage and plastic rice and all that kind of foolishness. I want to tell people, do not eat them. Do not eat them. Plastic take years to dissolve. I've never seen a tree mark plastic yet. So why are they doing that? Done with that. No purple. you got a lot of vision. And I want to highly hold you aloft for your vision for having positive Wednesday. Now you see who focus on negative from who focus on positive. So keep that program going. Don't let it die. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, we have reached that point where we have to take a pause and say thanks. Okay, we're going to take this caller just before we do that. Caller, welcome. You are live on Voices. Yes, Purple. Let me be quick. Um, we want to big up garbage collectors. Because people seem to overlook them. The whole society and the world. And then, you know, the day that the garbage truck no come out, you hear people start to complain. But when when Anna go gives, you never hear any call. So I want to, want to big them up. Okay, then purple. All right, thank you so much for that. It certainly, I see um the street cleaners and the people who are responsible to pick up our garbage ever so often they do a splendid job and i i don't think they get enough commendation people just say oh they're doing their job you know i think that's how we've become they're doing their job but i want to shout them out as well big them up for doing such an awesome job we're going to take a pause as i mentioned and say thanks to these partners for the second half of voices and they are sl hosford flow and kfc we're different. We're 98.9. 98.9. Win FM. 
Turn your house into a home with help from your friends at the brand new Ashley Furniture Home Store St. Kitts. We are so much more than just another furniture store. In addition to carrying the largest and widest variety of furniture and mattresses, we also carry the largest selection of home accessories, rugs, bedding sets, and all that you need to make your house a home. Visit us on West Square Street, Ashley Furniture Home Store St. Kitts. This is home. I'll take a small. Double XL! That's the size for me! Lil's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk, text, and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. How does it feel? Welcome back to Voices, ladies and gentlemen. We have just about 10 minutes remaining in today's program. And uh, we go straight to the phone lines and say, welcome, caller. You're live on Voices. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I would have been very guilty if I didn't call in like everybody else. Big up to your dad. And this is something I want to talk about, which you might have an idea that it is so. I'm a Calypsonian. I hardly reach anywhere in the competition. I don't reach semifinals. And your dad had a policy, and there's other Calypsonians to attest to that. If me and others don't make semifinals, you call us down to your office and he'll write us a check. He did that for a lot of the lesser Calypsonians. And you know, I could understand when your father did do things for people, I me mean, speaking about that part, but other things and greater things. And then they had to turn ungrateful and ungrateful to him. It gave him a spirit not to help anybody again. But I want to con- uh, congratulate him by telling him, continue, because you don't look for man to bless you. The Lord will bless you. So you just continue to do what you can do whenever you can do it. The good do. Thank you very much. All right, thank you so much for that caller. Uh, we continue with our calls right here on Win FM 98.9. And big up to everyone who has been calling in to uh, congratulate or draw attention to any particular person or group that uh, have been doing great things in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. And uh, we appreciate that. So I was talking about, uh, okay, let us take this call. We're going to go back to the phone lines. Welcome, caller. You're live on Voices. Good afternoon, Papa. Good afternoon. First of all, I want to dig up the, the, the long-time premier, the Mr. Bradshaw, Mr. Simmons. I want to dig up the present prime minister that we have right now, and he, he gang. And um, I want to dig up your father, DuPont, because he's a good man. And... All the good people who know that they contribute to sink it in all different ways. The people who clean the road, the people who build sink it and make it what it is. That people could watch it now and say it's a beautiful country and it's a lovely country. And um, for, for the, the, the um, tourists and for the people who are coming in to make a living, you know. I know where St. Kitts come from, and I know where it is today. And so all who take part to build St. Kitts, the carpenters, the masons, the radio announcers like Kant and all those great guys, I want to wish them all the best, and I hope 
things will come their way in the near future. Thank you. All right, thank you so much for your contribution. I, I, I want to tell you my heart is full on Wednesdays when we can take a moment and shout out people who we appreciate. Now, uh, next week is uh, Valentine's Day, so perhaps I will um, use that for us to uh, perhaps say why, you know. I, I mean, we've been doing that. We've been saying why we appreciate these people. And uh, next week, perhaps we could go into detail Tell us what these people have done uh, for the National Building for St. Kitts and Nevis. There's so many, I feel, forgotten people. People who have done great things or were instrumental in a lot of um, history, historical things. And I think maybe sometimes they don't get uh, the commendation that they deserve. So maybe next week we look forward to that version of uh, Positive Wednesday. We have just about uh, six minutes remaining if you want to get your calls in. But I was talking about, uh, before I went to the break, I was talking about how I think that we need to make positive changes in our lifestyle. And I was using myself because I don't exercise anymore. I can't, well, I do walk to the car. <laughs> <laughs> and I do walk up a few steps every day. But in terms of actually planning it into my day, guess what? I It's not an excuse, but I said to myself, when will I find the time to do that? I don't have the time to do it. But, you know, when we get sick or when things aren't going the best, you know, that's when we don't find the time. Imagine that. So I have to really come down on my own self and um, implement a little mini exercise um, routine within my schedule because uh, I think it would be only helpful to my health. So that's something positive I think I can do. And I would encourage you to do the same. You don't need a whole mega gym to um, do this. And it's not to say that if you exercise, nothing at all is going to go wrong with you. But... The odds are that if you exercise, then perhaps, you know, you, you maintain your health. We're going to go back to the phone lines. Welcome, caller. You're live on Voices. Yes, just lastly, uh, let me um, pay tribute and reflect on those fallen um, health workers. They used to um, describe them as sanitary officers. Those old fallen sanitary officers, health workers, who used to walk every road, look at every yard, and I mean, I have to reflect on the service because what I, what I look at today, presently, I really would like to pay tribute and respect the, the work that these old sanitary officers did to keep our country tidy. They supervise the drain cleaners. They come to every yard. Today, today, it's a shame. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome. I thank you so much. I appreciate your contribution to today's program. So if you have anything else to add to today's Positive Wednesday, boy, Positive Wednesday is always a slow day, but I know my people can do it, so I believe in you, so you're going to get accustomed to Positive Wednesday, and we're going to talk about good things, all right? We're going to talk about good vibes, because that's what we're all about, right here on WinFM 98.9. We're going to go back to the phone lines and say, welcome caller, you are live on Voices. Hey, Mrs. Purple, I'm calling to big up my grandfather who died back in 1948. He was the one to teach my father to make the whip for all those people back in St. Kitts in their 70s and 80s, and I come and start learning it. So I just want to pick up my grandfather for teaching my father to plant those whip that those people use for Christmas. And his name was Adam Mills, and my father's name was Rewa Mills. God bless you, purple. That's it for today. Thank All right. You. Thank you so much. And, you know, um, I always tune into Voices on Tuesdays with... Um, uh, Troy Mills and uh, the culture. I, I want us to get back more into our culture. But, you know, it's so many. It's a multifaceted faceted issue. And uh, we could go from so many different angles about where the culture came from and getting back into the culture. I think that's something positive. Uh, when we talk about culture, it becomes such a lively discussion. 
I think every single time because it's good to hear. That's the one time maybe we don't argue <laughs> because we get to hear everybody's opinion. And uh, you know, people are always so thrilled to speak about culture. So maybe that's another positive thing we could do. Uh, welcome, caller. You're live on Voices. Yeah, Brother Jones, Pastor Jones. Good afternoon. Hope you're feeling much better today. Purple, I wish that many churches could go back to the old time days of having Sunday school in the afternoon. In my days, I had to go to Sunday school. Brother Brown and the Methodist, and then lately, I had to go to Baptist. Because you see what happened? This man in Sunday school thing, a lot of children sleep in a while and get up. So you don't have the numbers, like when you got... When you don't get up in the day and you go in the afternoon, and like Brother Connor used to say, the, the man in Sunday school give the children them a lot of liberty to go out in the place and, 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 and get involved in, 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 in things that are not pleasant. So these churches who follow up in America and gone to the only man in Sunday school, you are responsible for the children them are going astray. Oh That's my. it for today. All right. Thank you so much. Well, we have time to squeeze in just one more caller as we have just about 60 seconds remaining in today's program. So if you have one last um, point that you would like to get in, now is your opportunity. If not, I want to say thanks. Okay. Squeeze this last caller in and say, welcome, caller. You have about 50 seconds. <laughs> well, let me, let me, let me, let me before that, I just want to pick up Fergie for start vices. All right. Okay, uh, yes, thank you so much. We're going to take this next call, caller. Okay, we lost that caller. So we are wrapping up for today on Voices. I want to say thanks to you, the people, for uh, being so great and um, shocking us and surprising us and uh, contributing to Positive Wednesdays right here on WinFM 98.9's Voices. I really do appreciate each of you. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And it's so great to see when we are living in love. Isn't it a wonderful feeling when we're not arguing all the time? But hey, tomorrow is another day. So please join us right here on WinFM 98.9 tomorrow for another edition of Voices. I'm going to squeeze this person in, but you have to be quick. Caller, go right ahead. You have like 10 seconds. <laughs> yes, I like to tell culture that it's up to the parents to make their children wake up and go to Sunday school. Whether they go in the afternoon, it's up to the parents. Make them get up out their bed and go to church. <laughs> have a good day. All right, darling. All right. So I know they'll continue that uh, banter some other time. But I want each of, each of you to have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for listening to WinFM 98.9. Join me tomorrow on the WinFM Breakfast Show from 6 to 10. And remember, you can connect with us on social media. Our WhatsApp is 662-2024. You send us a message asking us to be added to the broadcast and we'll keep you updated with all that's happening in St. Kitts and Nevis. You can also follow us on our Facebook page at Win989 as well as Instagram, Win989. And you can also find us on Twitter as well. Until we meet again, beautiful people of St. Kitts and Nevis, my name is Judy Dupont. I've been your moderator today, and it was my absolute pleasure. Keep it locked to WinFM. I want to again say thanks to the sponsors of the second half of Voices, Flo, SL Hosford's Quartz, and the KFC. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. I'll take a small. Double XL! That's the size for me! Lil's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk, text, and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. Freshened up. Hosford's Value Mat IGA St. Kitts has a fresh new look with the same low prices. We've got a fresh new look and we can't help but shout about it. Come over. Yes, there are still thousands.
lots of reasons to shop at Hosswood's Value Mart. And price still matters most to us. But come over and take a new look at Hosswood's Value Mart IGA St. Kitts. Value Mat IGA St. Kitts has a fresh new look with the same low prices. Come over to the fresh new Value Mart with the same low prices. Shop Smart, Shop Value Mart, where price matters most. Shopping is a lot easier with Courts Ready Finance. Choose what you want from our wide range of quality products and we take care of the rest. Courts Ready Finance's affordability means there's no deposit. There's no need for a lump sum of cash. It's flexible, which means you choose your payment term and you're guaranteed the lowest monthly payments anywhere. Best of all, it's easy, easy to get and easy to pay. Shop at Courts today and get what you want hassle-free. Courts Ready Finance. Easy, affordable, flexible. How does it feel when you got that feeling? You got the flavor you love. How does it feel when you know you're not dreaming? There is nothing but How you feel when things come together? How you feel when everything nice? How you feel when you see for the flavor, the feeling you get when the taste of everybody? W-I-N-N is 98.9. 98.9 is Win FM. We're a thousand miles from comfort. We have traveled land. It's just about 26 minutes to 2 o'clock. Do stay tuned to 1FM coming up next. We're bringing you the program Working For You. the bad 